Hi, uh, this is going to be a short video on how to do polynomial regression in Python. This is for assignment number five. Okay, so let's get started. First, I will show you how to do uh, polynomial regression in Python using NumPy, and then I'll show you how to write your own uh, polynomial regression code. Okay, so let's get started. So we need to first import data. So we'll do import pandas as pd. Okay, and then let's read some data file. I have a pre previously recorded data file here. So data dot read CSV and the data file name is data dot CSV. And let's just have a quick look at the data. Okay, so that's my data. Um, I would like to plot it. So then I will have to import my plotting library. So it's math plot lib dot pyplot as plt okay and i would like to plot x versus y so i would s first dissect the variables so i would say x equal to data x and then y equal to data y okay so i extract the x column and the y column keep them separate and i can now make the plot so i would say plt dot plot x comma y okay so this is plotting x versus y um, i would like to use a scatter plot instead so instead of plot i would say scatter so that it, it uses markers and not lines so i have the data i would like to do uh, i would like to do a polynomial fit or a linear fit through the data so in order to do that we'll use the numpy package so import numpy here, import numpy as np, okay, and within the numpy package you have the following command to get the polynomial fit, so it's called np.polyfit, then you give it the input, comma, the output, and the order of fit, if you choose one, it's a linear fit, so you'll get a linear equation, so this equation actually gives you the coefficients so I'll, I'll store the coefficients in a variable called p and let's print and see what's inside p okay so p is just a list of coefficients and the list of coefficient forms the equation so for example here okay so here a b and c are coefficients so what the NP polyfit actually gives you is uh, C comma B comma A in this specific order. The highest power, the coefficient of the highest power, and all the way to the lowest power. Okay, this is what polyfit command gives you. Okay, if you want to convert this coefficients into equation, there's another function for it. So I'll write NP dot poly. 1d 1d stands for one dimensional equation and give it the coefficients okay now if we print f you can see the equation so this is a linear equation so i get it as 1.322x plus 7.99 okay if this was a second order equation this will be a quadratic fit i change the order to 2 run the command again and you can see my new equation okay now how do we plot this new equation on here we first have to create an x variable that starts around the lowest x value and goes all the way to the highest x value. So let's create a new x vector. Let's start writing here. We can use the np.a range function to create like a list of numbers. Uh, the lowest number is the minimum value from x and the highest number is the maximum value from x. Okay. Next, we need to evaluate this equation using this x input. So y of our line or a model is going to be equal to f of f being our equation. Okay, we apply the equation at x nu. Okay, so all these values we evaluate what is the the, the value from the equation, and then we will try to make a plot of this. So plt so let's plot the data again 
and then plt dot plot the new created lines x new and the model okay and there you have the new line okay so just to reiterate what we did was we got the data we applied the polyfit function we gave it the data x and y okay we told it we need a second order fit it gave us the coefficients a b c and we then use the poly one dimension to create a equation from the given coefficients okay and this is our final equation this is our final polynomial equation okay and then in order to make a plot with the equation we created a, a new x variable which starts from the lowest value of x and then goes all the way to the highest value of x and then we evaluate the function we created for the line or for the fit f with the new numbers okay which gives us a line and then we plot it along with the data so we plot the data first and then we plot the line let's change the color to distinguish it better so i'm going to plot this in red and there we have it okay if you want to do a, a linear fit you should have to change the order to one and if we plot this again you get the straight line going through it okay and this is our equation i hope it's clear <coughs> Uh, in the next video, we will look at how to do a linear fit algorithm manually. Okay.